Hey guys, welcome to Guns and Guitars. Today we're going to be changing out some tuners and we're going to be putting locking tuners on this guitar. And this is the easy install and the reason it's an easy install is because these are exact fit locking tuners. These are the same locking tuners that I put on my PRS SE guitars. For today's video, we're going to need a screwdriver that is a precise fit for the screw heads. We're going to need a 10 millimeter socket for the hex head ferules that hold the tuners in place. These are the tuners that I put on my PRS guitars and they were a precise fit. Here's what comes in the package. You get the six locking tuners, six washers, six screws, and then six hex head furials. Here's the guitar we're going to be changing the tuners on today. This is a Les Paul clone from Guitar Works in Richmond, Virginia. You can see I'm supporting the head with the box that the tuners came in. And the first thing we're going to do is remove the strap. The next thing we're going to do is remove all the strings from the guitar and since this is a Les Paul clone you can see that it has a separate bridge and tailpiece. You have to be careful on this guitar with the tailpiece falling off and damaging the, the guitar. The bridge is a Tone Pro's locking bridge so it's locked in place and won't come off the guitar. One of the great things about the locking tuners is it makes changing strings, taking strings off, putting them on on a guitar so much easier. You don't have to unwind anything, you just unscrew the, the back of the locking tuner, the string comes loose, pops right out, and you're good to go. Okay, now that we have all the strings off, you can see that it's a good time to dress any frets that you might have um, issues with, um, clean the fingerboard. This is a rosewood fingerboard on this guitar. And normally what you would do is check, you know, when you're changing strings to make sure that these um, furials are all tight and, and there's nothing really loose in there, but um, since we're going to be loosening those and taking them off anyway, it doesn't matter this time. Okay, the next step is we're going to loosen the screws on the back of each of the tuners. We're not going to take them all the way out, we're just going to loosen them so that later on when we do take them out it's just easier to pull them. The reason we're going to leave them in is they stop the tuner from twisting around when you're undoing the hex head purials. And remember it's righty tighty lefty loosey so we're just going to turn this to the left to loosen the screws. And the next thing we're going to do is use our 10 millimeter socket to remove the furials. Some of these are kind of tight, but once you get them going, they just unscrew real easy. And you can see they look exactly like the ones that came in the package. You can reuse these because they're actually the exact same size. And on this particular guitar, the washers are a little bit fancier than the flat washers that came with the guitar fetish locking tuner, so I'm going to reuse these. Okay, and as you can see, we're ready to turn the guitar over and take those screws out the rest of the way on the back of the tuners. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, you can see all the tuners have been removed from the guitar and we're ready to install the new uh, locking tuners from Guitar Fetish. Now, one thing, you can see that screw on the far right, that's the one that came with the locking tuners and it looks like it's just a slightly smaller diameter than the original screw, so I'm going to go ahead and reuse the original screws and the original washers. 
Now one thing I like to do is go ahead and put the screw into the new tuner and that way when you place it into the guitar it just lines up and you don't struggle trying to poke a little tiny screw into the hole. It'll just kind of be in the right place in the right position there. Or if you don't knock it over with your screwdriver. And when you tighten these screws up you just you definitely want to get them tight but you don't want them you know to rip through the guitar or something so don't you know put your full body weight or something into it but definitely you want to snug these down as tight as you can there that should do it okay there they are with all the screws snug down tight and we're ready to turn the guitar over and finish the install. Again, on this install, we're going to go ahead and use the original washers because they're a little fancier and they also look to be a little bit larger. You can see there's a little bit of marks on the wood finish where they kind of pulled into the guitar. So, in order to make sure that's all covered, we're going to go ahead and just reuse those. And you can see that I've laid the washers on the guitar, basically on each tuner. Now they, they do have a little forward and back play on them. So when I put in the Furials, that'll pretty much line them up. But you definitely want to make sure on a guitar like this that you line them up with the marks that are on the guitar head so that you don't have any new marks. And all you do is you just take them, lay them in there. They'll start, you can go ahead and start them by hand. Now they should not have any grabbing or anything. If they are, they're not. They're going to be cross-threaded a little bit, so you don't want that. You definitely want them to go in pretty much by hand. You might have to switch them around to different tuner heads to make sure it'll it'll work with each one. Okay, and we're just going to make sure one last time that everything's nice and snug and tight. Check those screws one more time on the other side and it's ready to restring if you don't need to do any work on your neck. And I hope this video helped you. Um, it's an incredibly simple install. It should only take you about 15-20 minutes at the most. And um, now with your new locking tuners on here, even stringing the guitar, it should only take you about 20 minutes putting the, the new tuners on. And good luck. I hope this helps. If you like this video, um, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. It really helps the channel. Thank you.